This video quick tip will help you understand the tab feature that is used in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and even in Outlook email messages. If you have ever wondered why some documents or presentations print using different character spacing than what you see on the screen, this video should answer that question. Most people will avoid setting tabs at any cost. They press the space bar to try to line up the data in columns, and the majority of the time the column text never quite lines up correctly. When they send it to the printer, the columns usually don't line up either. So why is this? Your monitor uses what is known as screen fonts. These fonts are stored on your hard drive and determine how the font is displayed on the screen. Today, most people use proportional fonts, which do not have the same horizontal spacing for each letter. The spacing for letters like L and I are narrow, and letters like V, U, N, and O take up more space on the line. Even the space character has a different horizontal spacing than many of the other characters. Printers use printer fonts. These fonts are stored inside your printer. Most of the time, the letter spacing for printer fonts are slightly different than the spacing used for screen fonts. This is why what you see on the screen does not always print exactly the same as on the paper. You can solve this by using tabs. When you set a tab, you are essentially telling both the computer and the printer to use a ruler measurement when lining up the text in a column. If you set a tab in your document at one inch in from the left edge of the page, the tab will be set on the printed page at one inch in from the left edge of the page as well. From the View Ribbon tab in either Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint, be sure there is a check next to the ruler option. Located at the far left of the ruler is a small box that contains a symbol representing the type of tab that can be set. I'll start out by setting a left tab at the half inch mark on the ruler. Here is a sample of text lined up on the leftmost character. I'll click once in the tab box and change the tab to a center tab. I'll set a center tab at position two and a half inch on the ruler. Notice how the text is lined up with the center tab. I'll click again to change to the right tab. And I'll set a right tab at position 4.25 on the ruler. This tab is great for whole numbers when you would like them to line up on the rightmost digit. I'll click on the Tab button one more time to set a decimal tab. And then I'll place this tab at around 5.8 on the ruler. Notice how this data lines up with the decimal point. So you can use left tabs, center tabs, right tabs, or decimal tabs to easily align your data as you type. Now that you know about tabs, let's revisit that first example. This time I use tabs to define how I want the data to be aligned in each column. Notice how nicely the data lines up on the screen and also on the printer. I hope you found this video quick tip helpful and thanks for watching.